Whoever said that cats don't need a bath have obviously never bathed their cat before. This is Everest, and he's a one-year-old Himalayan and Persian mix. This is his first professional grooming appointment, and his owners brought him in to get a teddy bear haircut. His coat can be a lot to maintain, and he is obviously not doing a good job maintaining it on his own. I trim his murder mittens and I shave out some matting before his bath. I am bathing him today in Girl with the Dogs de-shedding shampoo and conditioner. Good kitty. Good kitty. When Everest came in, he had a pretty strong odor, so it was no surprise that the water was very brown after I was done bathing him. I find that most Persians are very relaxed and laid-back cats which makes it much easier when I am grooming them, especially for their first grooming appointment. A lot of people ask me if I prefer working on dogs or cats, and that's a hard question for me to answer. On one hand, I have always loved dogs since I was very young, and on the other hand, I find cats a lot easier to work with. What? Contrary to what you may believe, although cats don't typically like being bathed, they usually put up far less of a fight than dogs. Dogs can be a lot larger, a lot stronger, a lot louder, and far more physically demanding to groom as opposed to cats. That being said, the risks involved with being injured by a cat are actually more severe than being injured by a dog. While a dog could do more damage, a cat can cause serious infection that could put me out of work for a long period of time. So to answer your question, looking at this from a point of view of a groomer, I would be far less exhausted at the end of my work days if I only groomed cats. I am brushing Everest out with my slicker brush and then I'm going over her with my cat comb, going through her periodically with my clipper to shave out any matting that is too close to the skin. After that, I'm going to be taking down his entire body in a three-quarter comb attachment. I find it quite challenging to give a teddy bear cut to a cat. Their fur is much different than dogs, and I work on far more dogs than I have ever worked on cats in my entire career. I have been told that using a clipper vac attachment makes it much easier to groom cats. This is essentially a vacuum that attaches to your clipper, and it pulls the hair up, making it easier for the clipper to grab the hair as it cuts. This is definitely my next investment. But if there are any cat groomers that could leave a comment on the best way to get a smooth teddy bear haircut on cats, I would really appreciate your advice. Everest was phenomenally well behaved, but nearing the end of his cut, he started to pant, which means that his kitty timer is up and it's time to stop his groom today. Today, for our pet of the day, we have gorgeous Twilight, the Siberian forest cat. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you haven't already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to support the channel. I hope you enjoyed the exquisite Everest.